everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review 13 Hours, The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi. So 13 Hours is directed by Michael Bay, it stars John Krasinski and James Badgedale, and 13 Hours is based on a true story on the war that happens in Benghazi back in September 11th. 2012 and it is about these six soldiers that go to Benghazi to protect this American base and to stop these attacks that's been started by the Islamic militants. Now honestly when I went to 13 hours I went to this movie thinking it looked pretty decent. You know, I just went to this one really with an open mind. And I think it's really interesting because, you know, Michael Bay is helming this. He has a lot of respect for what happened to these soldiers in Benghazi back in 2012. I know the last couple of times he handled the film based on a true story did not work out for a lot of people. So hopefully what he does with this film won't really upset a lot of people. After seeing 13 Hours, I think a lot of people are really happy with how Michael Bay handled this film. I know the soldiers of Benghazi are actually happy with the way this film turned out. And I can be the same guy that says I was actually really happy with how 13 Hours turned out because this was a really solid movie that told a very compelling story on the six soldiers that had to handle this chaotic war in Benghazi. You know, it was a very scary situation and I can't imagine honestly what they've gone through but I do think one of the biggest positives right off the bat with this movie is how much respect Michael Bay definitely had with these soldiers and just the whole event that happened back in 2012. He did a really good job directing this film. He did a really great job directing the action set pieces because there are a lot of brutal, intense war action sequences and the way Michael Bay just puts you into the war is very compelling, honestly, and I was truly invested. The movie gets very brutal, especially when you get to the finale of this movie, wow. And I thought for a job that Michael Bay was given to tell the story, I thought he did a very good job. As for performances, I thought the two standouts were definitely John Krasinski and James Badge Dale. I thought the two of them played these men very well. You could tell that they really wanted to stop this war. You could tell they really care about their country. And I really like the dramatic interactions between the two of them. Definitely the most compelling moments that don't involve war are the scenes when John Krasinski and James Badgedale are talking to each other. They both give strong performances and the dramatic moments that they bring, they were definitely very convincing, very believable. And I just found myself really caring for these two men right here. And of course, you no, know, they are the main focus. I do care about the other men. You do definitely care about the other men when they're at war with them and all that. But when the movie really focuses on just these two characters right here, you really do care for them. As for the war sequences, I was actually really impressed with the sound mix scene that was going Going along I thought it actually flowed very well in this movie it sounded very good you know when you hear a gun shooting you it actually sounds very believable for the most part the cinematography does look pretty good I also did really like how before we got to all of the war action sequences with all these soldiers and Benghazi because I say the first one hour of this film or like the first 45 minutes or first one hour of the film is just like the soldiers talking to their family and getting ready for this war and the last thing I will say I appreciate about 13 hours hours that I know some people aren't happy with but I'm personally happy with is that Michael Bay didn't really go into politics with this film and I do think if he did go into politics that's when I would feel like the film would start to drag out and the film would probably be longer than it actually is right now because 13 hours is already long enough it's like around 2 hours and 20 minutes at best so you know the movie already is long enough plus I'm not really interested in the politics my problems with 13 hours however is that there are times where during the war action sequences the camera can get pretty shaky 
Like, I can still see a little bit of what's going on during the shakiness of the camera, but I do think that sometimes when it is used, it does get really distracting and it kind of does take me out of the war because I'm like, wow, this is intense, this is brutal. I'm honestly at the edge of my seat because of how intense and compelling these war scenes are. And then when it gets shaky at times, it does take me out of the film. Also, there are some moments where Michael Bay uses these slow-mo shots in which they're not really necessary, if I have to be honest with you. Like, I honestly, I'm all those people that's not really bothered by slow-mo. Like, I actually really like slow-mo in movies, depending how it's handled too, of course. But in 13 Hours, whenever there's a slow-mo shot used, I do think it's unnecessary. Most of the supporting performances I thought were just okay at best. They weren't strong like with John Krasinski and James Badge Dale. They're serviceable and all but they weren't the strongest performances I've ever seen and then the last negative I will say about 13 hours is that the film can feel quite repetitive after a while like they go out on war and then they take a break then they go back out in the war and then they take a break it does feel like the same thing after a while Overall, 13 Hours was a very solid and compelling war film. I thought it was very well directed, it was very well written, it was a solid feature, and I'm going to give 13 Hours The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi 3 out of 4 stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you guys think about 13 Hours The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi. This is Tony, a.k.a. 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!